Brooke and I am here um, in my dive studio slash kitchen and I am going to attempt to dye uh, sock blanks for the first time. Um, I have my dye which I have made a little bit more concentrated than usual um, and I also have um, uh, laid out some plastic wrap so that once the sock blank is dyed it can be um, folded up into uh, and then steamed. So I got some, I honestly like, there's not really much information out there about how people dye these sock blanks and so I got some uh, like foam tools just in case that might help. Um, I have a, let me grab some scissors. I have a design concept in mind. Um, I'm really inspired by the tulip fields. Um, tulip is, tulips are my favorite flower because they are um, really beautiful and they are really prominent here in the DC area um, in the spring and um, they plant a lot of them, planted a lot of them on GW's campus as well. So that's my favorite flower and so um, I'm going to create a sort of tulip field type design that is in the style of Alma Thomas. Alma Thomas is a black painter who was part of the DC Color School and she, um, her technique is really unique and beautiful and how she um, uses her brush strokes and makes effective use of white space to, um, to create her beautiful paintings. Um, so let me just all right guys, this is where I get into the dye process and just begin to lay out the sock blank. The sock blank has been soaked in water and citric acid and I just rolled it up in the towel and stepped on it to get out the excess water. What, the, what that does is allow the dye to penetrate instead of attempting to displace water, which is very difficult to do when with wool. Right here, I'm just trying to lay out the sock blank flat. It's a little difficult as it's just stockinette and we all know that stockinette curls on the edges. And so I just started with dropping a little bit of dye in the middle to see how it will pull and it does seem to be pulling quite a bit. And this should have been the beginning of me knowing that this was probably not going to go too well. But, you know, th that's how these things go, and you live and you learn. I just had a really great idea um, the while I steam the first sock blank I'm going to dye the um, the other one a green color 
and um, then I'm gonna o paint over that and come up with something really cool I think hey everybody it's Brooke and I'm here back in my kitchen again to finish up the sock blank dyeing experiment failure that I started yesterday um, I do have the first sock blank um, this is how it turned out of course it'll be it'll look a lot better once it's um, unraveled into yarn but I'm not really happy with um, one the colors I chose or how they turned out it really was just trying me trying to figure out how the dye applies to the wool I also have I also have a second sock blank here that's pretty wet but I have just kettle dyed it green um, so it's a bit mottled and we're just gonna apply some dye over that hopefully for a really cool effect <laughs> out this video I do have the two sock planks with me which were my first round of dyeing and I also just completed my second round of dyeing with no gloves because they got some dishwater in them from the dishwasher and uh, were wet on the inside and outside and that's gross and so I dyed without gloves today so that's why my hands are blue but today is a good day I got a lot of dyeing done today a lot of good stuff I figured it out. I got some results that I'm happy with on the new sock blanks. Those will be in part two of this video. And I hope you guys will check that out. Without further ado, this is the green one. And so you see there's, it's just really splotchy and gross. And in person, the colors are just really green and brown, which are I don't like. And I'm going, going to unwind it and ball it up and see how how that looks i may or may not find occasion to use it eventually who knows i may decide to to make something that's invisible and so this is the other one which originally i was trying to make look like tulips and inspired by alma thomas but really it just looks dumb However, the colors aren't all that bad. I think it st could still be cute. And so I'm going to unwind this one too. And actually I'll unwind both of these and make them into balls and I will be right back. Hi, Rolo. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm back with a, with a puppy that needs attention and I am pleasantly surprised. All right, here is the first, um, the first ball which is getting a little bit washed out due to the uh, the light from outside. But um, yeah, there we go. So the colors are actually really nice. I like the tone of the colors, very pretty. I think very reminiscent of tulips. And so, you know, we'll turn it into socks and we'll see. I'm not so upset with it. 
I am quite embarrassed by how it looked when it was a sock blank, but you know, we have remedied that already because I did have a successful second round of knitting. I mean, of knitting, of dyeing. And actually, guys, look at this. We have got some blues and purples and browns and that just it just look at that it reminds me of um it reminds me of like a a park or a forest or something of nature like that's crazy like there's definitely blue green brown purple and like down inside the ball too it's the same and the the camera is not quite doing it justice again. The light from outside is kind of washing it out. Right here is a good look at it. Um, but wow, that is impressive. These are gonna be gorgeous. I love that. Like I love how it's like, like a little green, a little pink, then it's brown, then it's blue. That's amazing. And that's that that is because I mix dyes, which I always do. I I very rarely will use just a straight dye. I usually will shift the color just a little bit to get exactly what I'm looking for. And so with this, um, you all saw me actually apply one dye and then I squirted the blue all over it because I was like, it's gotta look better with some blue because that's like the solution to everything. And so, um, so yeah, so it definitely turned out beautiful. Yes. That's exciting. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this video. Be sure to check out part two of, these, of this series where this failure that actually turned into a success actually ends up being hopefully a success turns into more success. So yeah, I will am working on that right now. That's what's going on outside of my room. And so yeah, so if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. Hit the notification button next to the subscribe button if you would like to get a notification every time I upload a video. Also, if you'd like to support my channel, please check out the Patreon link down below. Any support goes a very long way into helping me make more and better videos. I hope you all have a great day.